what exactly will this administration look like and, and how different or similar will it be to the first 100 days in office for President Trump? Well, thanks for having me on this morning, Dom. Um, you know, I, honestly, probably this is going to look not all that much like the first 100 days for Trump. The sort of mandate he's come in with is very different. Trump was, in his first 100 days, trying to turn U.S. policy away from the Obama years. But he was starting at a place where we had a relatively healthy economy, some small things, you know, sort of disregarded there. Uh, but we didn't face the sort of national overarching crisis that Eamon talked about. Biden's first 100 days are going to be very much entirely determined by his response to a crisis that is unlike what anything we've seen in the U.S., in generations, if not a century. So just for that reason, it will look quite different. Now, there's been a case made that, that President Trump did get elected because of his appeal to many parts of the center political spectrum in America. President-elect Joe Biden has won this particular election, arguably because he appealed to a large portion of the center part of the population. Does that center political arena still exist in America? And how exactly then does the Biden administration look towards kind of building that particular centrist view and putting it back in the center of American politics? And can it even be done? I would say yes, absolutely. The, the concept of a center in American politics still very much holds. We are seeing uh, American political life become much more divisive and much more extreme but that doesn't erase the fact that there's still a, a large cohort of people who, at the end of the day, don't necessarily subscribe, subscribe to either of those two extremes. Joe Biden won this presidency with 7 million more popular votes than President Trump, which in and of itself is a strong repudiation of the kind of extreme politics which underpinned a lot of President Trump's political appeal. Uh, so right there, I think you can make the, the, the strong case that there is still a political center. How Joe Biden brings that political center back into the mainstream of politics and how he really appeals to them is another story. We've seen a lot of that reflected in some of his cabinet choices. Remember, we do have a lot of people who are potentially from the more progressive wing of the party. Neera Tandon is a good example. Um, certainly Gary Gensler uh, would be another example of someone who's more from the Elizabeth Warren mold. But you've also seen people who have been put in place uh, with more of a moderate focus. Uh, certainly, uh, Granholm at DOE is an example of someone who is more from the political moderate wing and is someone who's focused on things that have a broad appeal, bringing back manufacturing jobs, boosting American competitiveness, but doing so in a way that also emphasizes economic justice and lifting up the, you know, whether it's uh, minority populations, uh, women who have been disproportionately impacted by the economic crisis still emphasizing those progressive ideals, but sure. doing so in a way that appeals to a broad base. I mean, Clayton, before we let you go, we got a few moments left here. You, you use the word mainstream quite a bit. I think to myself, this administration, is the goal of this administration softly to get back to mainstream or establishment politics? That's very different than what President Trump got elected on in terms of his drain the swamp mentality. Absolutely. Um, I would say that it's still a little too early to say exactly uh, what the ultimate goal of the Biden administration will be. But looking at Joe Biden himself, looking at him as a politician, looking at him as a man, he is very much a deal maker. He's uh, someone who prizes bipartisanship. He's someone who prizes a, a set of kind of baseline American values that certainly would seem to suggest that coming back to a mainstream, as you put it, is absolutely within his goals, his singular goals as president. Whether or not he's going to be able to do that is something that unfortunately only time will tell. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.